Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Bob's RV and Bus Channel. And I am still at SEMA 2018. You're gonna be getting a lot of videos from me all year long that I'm gonna be stretching out. Uh, so, you know, here's the thing when you're traveling with your bus, you got your trailer, right? Sometimes, like for me, when I get back to my shop with my trailer, I have, I, I, I'm at a cul-de-sac, I can't turn around, and I can only back my bus into my shop. So if I have a trailer, I have to drop the trailer in the middle of the street, back the bus in, go get my dually, hook it up to the trailer, back the dually and trailer into its spot, unhook it, then go put the dually away. It takes two or three people and like an hour. I just found the greatest solution. Check this thing out. Now what am I looking at here? What is this thing called? It's called the XL Pro. Trailer Valet XL Pro. Trailer Valet XL Pro. It handles 12,000 pounds with 1,200 pounds tongue weight. So 12,000 pounds. With how much tongue weight? 1,200 pound tongue weight. 1,200 pound tongue weight. Holy crap. So it's running off a, a DeWalt, uh, what is that? What kind of? It's a DeWalt 60 volt drill and it comes with the unit when you purchase the unit. Comes with it. And who am I talking to? What's your name? My name is Ted. Ted. What's up, Ted? <laughs> All right, so this is a pretty small trailer. This is this smaller than a band trailer would be, but that's a, a utility trailer. Of course, they can only fit so much stuff in here. Okay. This thing you could carry with you. You could put it right in the bay of your bus. What's it? way to pick that thing up. It weighs about 80 pounds. 80 pounds? Okay, that's not too terribly heavy. Now, I can see you've got some major gearing going on here. Oh, yeah. So, what kind of torque are we getting here? Do you know those? I, I do not know the... You uh, said it would move like a 12,000 pound trailer. It will move a 12,000 pound trailer. So, there's there's a lot of gearing gear reduction done on this unit itself. It goes through three gear ratios before it gets down to the tires, and the tires is actually a solid rubber tire. So oh, a solid rubber tire, flat. that's awesome. And it goes through grass, it goes through gravel, it goes through up, uphill, inclines. Now, you've got another model for people that are even lazier than this. Yes. That is Show correct. me that thing. I saw it over here. You guys aren't gonna believe this. This is, uh, this is off the hook. Look at this. This is like a remote control robotic one. Look at this. This thing looks like it's ready to go disarm a bomb or something. Have I seen you on Pawn Stars? You have. You have seen me on Pawn Stars. <laughs> I've you made the, the Ghostbusters. I did. Right? I did. And the pack? That's right. There you go. I got to give you props on yeah. that one. Right on, dude. You do good work. I, yeah, we did. Well, I've been on there a whole bunch of times. I did the DeLorean Time twice. Machine. Twice. And the and the proton pack I was just on with the sports almanac. I was just in there last oh, night that's hanging out right. with them. The almanac, I remember that's that. Right, yeah. right on. Very and then cool. I do my show, Screen Machines, okay. on the Real Channel. Right on. Very cool, dude. All right. right on. So all right, I'm checking out this badass t robot thing. R RVR. Right on. Yep. Now, this. How heavy is this? Let me flip the camera on. Uh, no. It's about 90 pounds. 90 pounds. So that's kind of heavy to pick up. Actually, it's but you the, could drive it up a ramp. Shipping weight. 95 is shipping weight. By itself, just the unit, it's probably about 75. See, so, I mean, I can still, Oh, okay. You know, that's not too bad. Uh, Big strong man. <laughs> pick up heavy robot. Well, I am used to it, too. Look at this. What? <laughs> That's pretty. It's a little slow though. This would be good though for somebody who's like really lazy like me. If you're moving 9,000 pounds, you need slow. So this will do 9,000 pounds. I'm pretty cool with this uh, this powered one. Now sh show me some of these uh, these ones you got on display over here. What is this rig over here? You got. This is our first model, this is the 5X. The bracket mounted boot trailer mover. Okay. Also has a tongue jack. Is that the same as this right here? No, that's our 10,000 pound 10, XL pounds. model. And this one you just, so you just throw a... So both models you can use the hand, oh don't do that. Oh don't do that. <laughs> we don't, we need a do not touch sign there. Yeah, you need to take the battery out of that. So, both models come with a hand crank. Oh, I see. This model... <laughs> Be hand cranking. Comes with a drill adapter, so I you see. can use your 20 volt. I gotcha. Now give me some price pricing on some of this stuff. So online, 
We sell these for 350 All okay. of our retailers, you can get them at... So 350 bucks. Yep. For, for our and I can just put my own favorite drill on there. Yep. You, have to, you do have to order the drill adapter for that. Okay. Unit. It comes standard with this one. And how about this one? This one here retails for about 600 bucks. 600 bucks. And how about that big mama jam over there? That one retails for 1700 we're doing a SEMA special right now for 1400 at the show through Friday. Well, I would imagine just that big drill, drill thing is pretty expensive yeah, all by you, itself. If you go to Amazon, that thing's about 400 bucks. So. Yeah, yeah. Let me move away from that speaker there. And these are cool, too. Those come in really handy. You need a powered version of those that all synchronize together, like a drone. Right. That'd be the next phase in your development. Be working on that. I really like these. I think these are really cool. So. So the whole idea here, guys, is if you have if you have like a band trailer or a car trailer, whatever it is you're hauling, and you have a situation like mine where when I pull my bus in, I can't I can't pull my bus and trailer into my shop area because I can't there's not enough room for me to turn around. And even if I back in, which I can do, um, there's no, you'd never be able to angle yourself to back the trailer into its spot. It's not gonna happen. So we have to drop the trailer, move the bus, go get a truck, go get the trailer. If I had something like this, I mean, yeah, it's gonna move a little slow or whatever, but you could use any of your favorite drill, move this thing in. I think it's, I think it's awesome and I'm gonna get one. And when I get one, we'll demonstrate it. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll take that big heavy ass steel uh, red trailer I got and we'll put a DeLorean on it and we'll see how we can move it around so stay tuned for an update on that hey make sure to subscribe to my videos if you like this kind of stuff if you're into RVs and tour buses and all that kind of stuff and I'm video Bob I'll see you on the next video here it comes <laughs>